Red Teaming Certification OSCP Training for Cybersecurity Professionals Learn from the industry experts about what OSCP stands for what will you learn from it? Uh, hello folks, uh, my name is Jomis Kumar and I am an instructor for the OSCP in ISS. In, the, in this course, OSCP course, OSCP basically of the security certified professional course which is provided by the Office of Security. And this course, lots of modules we are going to cover in this course. Okay, so here is the, some of the content of this course. First is about the Kali Linux, where we learn about the Kali Linux environment and all the other tools which we already installed in the Kali Linux. In the second module, we are going to learn the command line with the Linux so that to help us different tools and techniques and the default command utilities. In the module third, we are going to discuss with the different kind of tools like Nikto, NMAP, GoBuster, Dyser, and the Metaspect framework to solve the different kind of CTF machines in the lab and in the OSCP exam. In the module 4, we are going to discuss about a little bit about the basic scripting and try to understand how we are to meet all the stuff during the CTF, uh, following CTF and in the exam. In the module 5th and 6th, we are going to collect all the information and all the data from the victim machine and how we collect all the, all the data from the victim machine, we are going to learn and discuss with the help of different fixed tips and techniques and also tools. On the module 7, which is the web application attacks, in this, in this uh, topic, we are going to cover access as chemistry exploitation, protocol exploitation, and the browser exploitation, exploitation on the basis of which kind of machine we got. Okay. On the module 8, uh, buffer overflow on Linux and Windows machines. Basically, buffer overflow is the most important topic for the OSCP where the weightage of the buffer overflow for the 25 marks. So, we need to understand all the scenario of buffer overflow and try to exploit it. If you want to learn it, then we go through this particular link and we are going to understand the, all the process. Number 9 which is the client side attack. Client side attack basically try to understand the, all the all the framework of Metasplare and try to use the CVE and the Rapid7 modules to use to exploit the different kind of vulnerability over the CPU machines. On the module 10 basically which kind of uh, which kind of exploit are publicly available on the exploit TV GitHub and the Google. We try to have that kind of exploit and try to use to solve our machines and try to exploit and get the root flag of the machine. On the module 11 we are going to learn about the file transfer protocols like uh, with the help of NC, with the help of SSH, with the help of SCP tools. So basically uh, when we go through the victim machine and we need to transfer the file from the attacker machine to victim machine that kind of stuff we are going to learn into this module which is the file transfer module. Okay. On the module 12, we are going to learn how we can bypass the antivirus software with the help of uh, making our own or creating our own shell codes with the help of MSF ban or meta <coughs> On the module 11, basically which is most important topics again, which is a various lesson on the Windows and Linux system. Basically, when we exploit any kind of machine, we got the normal cell on the machine, not the root cell of the machine. But if you need to compromise the whole machine in a particular manner, then we need to understand the privilege of a particular user and how we can exploit our privilege from normal user to root user into the system or into the CPF machines in the exam also or in the labs also. On module 14, we are going to discuss about the brute force attack, brute force attack with the help of different tools like Hydra, Medusa and other tools okay, to grab the password of SPH and the SD users. On the module 15, we are going to learn about the port forwarding internally attack, how we are going to do the port, for port forwarding with the help of different tools like SSH and the other tools. And uh, in the module 16, we are going to discuss about the active directory things because the active directory is newly implemented into the open to security exam and the course. So uh, we manage all the environment on your own system by the developing the directory environment and try to practice on it. On the module 17, we are going to deep dive into the Metasploit framework to learn how we can use the different kind of exploit to uh, use uh, to against a victim machine and try to grab the cell from the victim machine. On the module 
18 which is the last module in this course till the introduction of power cell where we will try to implement the in power in fire tool on the power cell on the window dc to grab the different kind of uh, different kind of data from the different machine so that is it if you are ready to fire then go for it